In this video, we are going to learn to balance redox reactions using what's called a half method. Now, there are some rules to this um, that will help you guide through the process. So we're going to be firstly writing an unbalanced equation. Uh, then we're going to write unbalanced equation for specifically each individual oxidation and reduction reaction. So there'll be two other ones. So we're going to kind of split it up. We're going to balance those half reactions individually. Uh, then we're going to use some electrons to balance the charges of those individual reactions. And then the electrons are going to be different. Like, so for instance, if one reaction needed two electrons, one needed three, you find a, a common denominator of six and you do some multiplying. So we'll be doing some multiplying in that step. And then we're just going to put them all together and then double check that the uh, charges are correct on both sides. And then lastly, just write out our final answer. So let's take a look at an example. So here we go, here's our example, and the first step is to write out the balanced, unbalanced equation, and we need to assign our oxidation states. So it doesn't really matter where we start, it's probably a decent idea to start with the oxygen though, because it's minus two. So our oxidation state, we've got, uh, we've got a total of minus eight there, sorry, yeah, and so that's gonna be, oh sorry, it's a minus eight, but there's a minus one that I just covered over, so technically it should be minus, um, seven there so then manganese becomes plus seven hopefully I explain that nice there and over on the other side manganese is already two so it looks like there's been uh, uh, going from seven to two on that side and then we've got the irons with plus two and plus three so those are gonna be the ones we're going to investigate here so first thing we can say is that our manganese has been reduced and uh, we've got probably got a difference of what five electrons there so that's gonna come into play in a little bit. And then with our other one that was pretty straightforward, we have an oxidation and there should be a difference of one electron there, one electron. So that five and the one is what's gonna come into play here in a little bit. So next step is we're gonna to have to do some balancing. So there is our manganese part and we're gonna balance the oxygen and the hydrogen. So the first trick is we wanna balance, there's no hydrogen, so we're gonna to have to balance the oxygens. We've got four oxygens here. So we're going to have to add four waters to that side, right? So there's four oxygens. That now gives us eight hydrogens. So to the other side, we'll add our eight H pluses. Uh, the charge isn't balanced here, but the oxygen and the hydrogens have been balanced. With the other reaction, there aren't any oxygens or hydrogens. So that one's already good to go. So in our next step here, now it's going to be the equalization of the charges on both sides of our equation. So if you do a quick count on the left side, You'll notice that we have a total charge of plus seven and when we look at the other side here we've got a total of plus two and so we're going to be adding five electrons here and i guess it's important to realize which side of the equation we're adding the five electrons to because they're negatively charged we want to bring down that plus seven so we're going to put the five electrons over on the left hand side so that gives us a net of plus two and the other side also has a net of plus two, which is good, that's what we want. We want equal charges. With the other one here, um, all we need to do is add our one electron because we've got a plus two and a plus three. And we're gonna add it to that side and we are now good to go. Plus two, plus two. So the realization that once one of our equations needed five electrons and one needed one means we're gonna be doing some multiplying and that's what we're gonna do in the next step here. So. Again, our first equation needed five electrons and this one needed one, which means we're gonna be multiplying everything here in the next step by five so that we equalize the electrons on both sides of our equation. So that's what's happened right here. We've added a five, a five, and a five. Step six is we're gonna put the two equations together. So everything that was on the left-hand side in both our equations goes literally on the left-hand side and everything that was on our right-hand side, like this stuff, is gonna appear on the right-hand side of the equation and uh, we've got five electrons on both sides. That was the whole point of this. We we're gonna be canceling out those five electrons. That's the only thing we can cancel out here. Which means that this equation that we've got left over here, this should be our final answer. Well, we should probably, should probably do a couple little double checks first though. So in step seven here, we've got a table and you can pause the video and investigate that a little bit further. Personally, I just like to double check that the charges are correct. And uh, when you do that, you'll notice that we've got a charge of 17 on both sides. And when that works out, you're good to go. And I can't tell you how many times that I do this final check here with the charges and something.